Hello and welcome to another World of Horror Show video. Today we have a special guest. Yes. This is Dylan. Dylan, no. <laughs> Come on. Uh, this is Anthony. He's one of my good friends. Uh, and he said I can unbox his. Oh, we. He'll do it, not me. I'm, yeah, maybe. yeah. He said that I can use his figure for a review, and that's what he's doing here. He's going to help us with a review today, which is going to be sick. We're going to have another little guest. It's awesome. Super excited. So um, this has not been opened. So I, I said to him before it would be really funny if it turned out broken. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> please don't. But not only did he come here to unbox us, he came here with gifts. The Boba Fett chase. How sick is that? This is like a full metal chase. It's so all nice. Cast, yeah. yeah, all die cast, that's die right, cast, yeah. yeah. So I just want to put that in the video, so. Let's carry on with the box. So we'll, we'll just straight up start with the box as we go. Before we carry on. Sorry uh, if you hear any moaning or little clinks and clank, because my dog is sitting at the door where the gate is and being a massive sick. <laughs> A uh, little bit closer, we'll try to get as close as we can to the box, but uh, out of all the collection stuff that I have, I'd have to say this is probably the most prettiest box I've seen. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You can see like the, the gold feathers, the metallic gold feathers there. Oh, but yeah, you can see like the, the blue metallic trim around the sides of it, the back, gold plating. It's like pop candy kind of yeah. colors and it, it works really, really well. And there's like... There's like really shiny parts and there's like really like muted shine and then there's just matte, which looks sick. It goes together, together really well. It, it reminds me of like a, a Barbie doll. Yeah, a little bit, eh? Kind of thing. Okay. Very kind of like retro, kind of 50s, 60s. Yeah, very retro, yeah. But that was all like style for her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks really cool and there's like a little flap that you can open up too, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like magnetic flap. Yeah, you yeah, can open up like that. You see like a, a nice cute little silhouette there, some kiss marks up there. Yeah. Kind of the same style as the rest of the, the packaging, which is really nice. But now that I have this open a little bit, you can see there's a whole bunch of different things all over there. You've got knuckle dusters down here. You've got like an eye up there. You've got like a Gothic City de Police Department up there. Yeah. And you can see how shiny it booby is. trap down here. Yeah, booby traps down there and stuff like that. So it's a very, very pretty box. There's just so much going on everywhere, but it works out well. Which is really cool. Yeah, let's bust this girl, this gal out, and see what we can see, right? All right, this is the first time unboxing it. We have cut it open, and now we are pulling out the clam trays. Is that what they call it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the clam trays. Did not know. That. Yes, for all the people out there who did not know what this packaging is called, it is called clam trays. And as you can see, she comes with a butt ton of stuff. All right, so um. We have a backdrop, which looks really cool. It looks amazing. Unfortunately, Hot Toys continuously does not have small backdrops for it to fit in these default cabinets. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, they made it good. Scrap that, I just tested it. This will fit in your uh, Detolf. Detolf? Detolf? Was it Detolf? Yes, Detolf. Detolf? Uh, no, Detolf sounds weird. <laughs> This will fit in your Detolf from Ikea. So that is good. That is really good. Very happy about that. I've had some other ones from Marvel, like um, the, the Spider-Man ones, the yeah. Daredevil, they, they don't fit. Yeah, oh, wow. As you can see, uh, it's from the Birds of Prey movie, the old Birds of Prey and the fabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. <laughs> That's cool. It looks like it's just says Birds of Prey and then she's scribbled all over yeah. it. <laughs> but the only thing that I wish was, it, it is slightly shiny. I don't know if the, the camera's picking that up. It is a little bit shiny, similar to like the muted shine on the box. But I kind of wish there was the, like the really bright shiny ones, like the like the gold feathers on the front of the box. I kind of wish that was going out throughout it, just to you know distract the eye a little bit more. But in the end, it is just a backdrop, so that that's fine. It's, it is pretty cool. I will right, carry on. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. That's oh like dude, she looks sick. Look at the tattoos. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. All right, so it looks like it comes with a few clamshells. You've got the bottom bit there that you saw of the, the backdrop, and then there's some extra accessories on the top there, yeah, which looks like cool. a whole bunch of bullets and see. stuff. So that's an alternate uh, shirt as well. Yeah, so you can actually change your costume, which is sick. Yeah. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get everything out and we're gonna display it here for you and then we'll carry on with the unboxing and review. Okay, so here are all the accessories and there's quite a bit of accessories. We'll go between each one individually, but I hate this thing. <laughs> it's a real pain in the ass to pull out like the, uh, the, the hands and stuff like that without possibly accidentally pulling this thing. The see-through jacket's really cool though. I like that, but these tassels are a pain in the ass. I, I, I don't think it could have gotten with, away with it if it was sculpted. So these things are pretty cool, but they are a pain in the ass. Yeah, they are. Well engineered, but not engineered well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, as you can see, there's a few things. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I think one of the coolest things I like is uh, the little classic breakfast sandwich that you see <laughs> get made in the morning. We all want that perfect sandwich. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. But you can see there's quite a bit of things. There's, there's tons of hands and there's also like yeah. swap out. Guns um, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, a little fun gun. Just as well. Fun gun. <laughs> as you can see. Oh, she actually wrote yeah. fun gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and there's there's all sorts of different things. They even, they even gave us like these little pad bits to, to protect the tattoo paintwork on the forearms when you add these guys, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, there's two pairs of shoes, two pairs of shoes, yes. I was going to say, weren't they meant to be like rollerblades? But I think that's in a different costume. Yeah, different that's the costume, other one, yeah. right? Yeah, that's the other yeah. one. Twist. And then you've got a whole bunch of different hands and then another whole bunch of different hands up here yeah. for this costume change out, swap out, you which is the, pretty cool. the necklace here that has like a little dog tag with Bruce on it. A little Easter eggs and stuff there. Pet hyena that she has. Yeah, and she's got a bat. And then like this this lock thing, we thought it was like a, a, a choker, but yeah. it's, it's actually for her her pants, which is pretty cool. And you got these these array of freaking grenades, and then obviously a new shirt that says Harley Quinn on it. And yeah, that's pretty much all the accessories. So we're going into in depth detail with them individually. We won't go through all the hands individually, but we will go we'll go through some of them and we'll, we'll go from there, guys. Alrighty, so here we have the hands. Not that many hands considering how many accessories you come with, but still pretty awesome hands. There's so much detail on them, it's crazy. Yeah, like it's it's awesome. Like you can even see like the fingernails. Which are one that... uh, I've no idea if you guys will be able to see the fingernails being painted. Hold on, let's, yeah. let's have a look if we can see. I have no idea if this is coming across to you guys, but you can actually see like little fingernail dots and stuff like oh on hand the fingernails, they are like dots and stuff painted, which is sick. Yeah, like I said, even the rings uh, have that kind of metallic finish to it and yeah, detail and stuff. Yeah, Very diamond, nicely done. Diamond shaped rings and the big plate that she's got over the knuckles there. So it looks like you have... I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they all will do, but we've got these, like, I don't know, maybe peace symbol hands, maybe it's holding something. I think it's just a peace symbol hand. Then you've got obviously hands that'll hold like that little burrito thing. Baseball bat, gun. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. it'll it'll hold it'll, all of those things. And the breakfast sandwich as well. And the breakfast sandwich. That's what I was looking for. You got all the all the hands to do those specific things. And I just don't know how we get to that point just yet. But we'll we'll pose it all together like that. Okay. Okay. So here we have the weapons, I guess. And not many weapons. No. I right, said so the the bat seems pretty pretty standard. A few sort of scuff marks and stuff on it. But yeah, now looks like a standard bat. Minus the gun, that's I really like. The fun gun, little parent advisory. Sure yeah, a little sort of parent advisory just here. See the fun gun on the other side. The bang bang. <laughs> and uh, as we showed you in the in the yeah. accessory area, as you can see, it opens up, and you can actually put two of the little bullets in there, which is sick. The grenade. Launch and bullets, just like that. I, I think yeah. it, it doesn't say you should put any more in, but um, yeah, the fact that you can store two of them will kind of break up the consistency of the belt of uh, all the bullets, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And then like the little graphics and stuff on it, it's, it's very cute, but not cute considering what it's drawn on. <laughs> <laughs> the bat looks okay. The bat could have been done better. I think it's it's very generic. It's just like a silver plastic. It doesn't even look like it's metal or anything like that, which kind of sucks. There should be a little bit of wear on, on here. There's a few scuff marks on the actual bat that's probably not coming across on camera, but uh, maybe a little bit of blood splatter or something like a dent in there or something would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh, just some different paint work would have yeah. been, been good. 
make it more Harley Quinn. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Make it more Harley Quinn. It does the job, but this gun is outstanding. All right, so so here we have the different array of grenade launchers and the sandwich. Yeah. So from my understanding, from you know seeing the movie and stuff, these are the sandbags that she had stuffed in there, sort of as like pellets. So like I guess again make it sort of that PG rated sort of movie. But yeah, like she just get busted into the police station, and start shooting people, and just knocks them out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, the sandwich like, this actually feels like real foil. It looks like real foil too. It looks great. Yeah. It's really well painted. I'm very happy with how they painted that. I don't know why, but I think that's probably my favorite accessory. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, these all of these guys can come in and out, which is really cool. And these particular ones have a slight bit of paint work on them, little dots at the top there. I'm not too sure what significant that is. Yeah, they're painted nicely. They look like grenade launcher bullets, the little hollow bits on the top, and like gold and stuff at the bottom, gold and silver. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they look good. Alrighty, here we have the figure and it looks great. It looks really, really good. Very well engineered, I think. Lots of little padding and poofy bits all through her hair and head to prevent any scuffing, which worries me, which worries me. The same with this huge like plastic bit underneath yeah. her shirt and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that was a bit of a difficult one to pull out. It's like wrapped in plastic. Yeah, that was actually a real pain in the ass. We had to undo all the clips at the back that you see there, pull the head off all that kind of stuff. I was like full on ready to take the, the shirt off because it was, I thought it was wrapped in it completely. But yeah. luckily it was just the front and the back and you could just kind of pull it up from there. But yeah, she looks really cool. The base is sick. But yeah, well, it has a little bit like that metallic to finish as well. Yeah. We'll get in a little bit closer and start talking about the figure. Alrighty, here we have the figure up close and all personal. Um, so this base is sick and Anthony agrees with me. It's so pretty. Looks amazing. There's so many different layers of, of color there, and then there's the shiny bits and the rough texture bits. Like you can see the reflection. Yeah. You can see her leg reflected in there. It looks sick. It's so, so pretty. And then, like this bit here is kind of rough to give the figure a little bit of extra detail. Grit. Yeah. Grip. And then you have the shoes. The shoes look really nice. They complement the base quite well, too. I don't think these guys complement it as well. But like the snake skin and the different colors through the snake skin complements uh, the base quite well, which is really cool. Design and stuff in the boots, see the different texture and the metallic stuff on here. Looks pretty cool. Hell yeah, it does. And then all the like the different kinds of, like you said, the textures. Yeah. And then you can see in the front here, it says Harley Quinn, which is quite nice. I'm glad it doesn't say Birds of Prey or something like that. Yeah. So Harley Quinn is, is, is nice like that. All right, let's, let's move on up. Cool. All right, so let's get the bad news out of the way. I had to replace the crotch grabber from the waist clamp, this guy, to an actual cross, crotch grabber. These things suck. They're not horrible, they're very sturdy and they don't damage the figure or anything like that. But the, the, the fact that it works like a pincer doesn't work well. Like this one you can just pull on and off. This one you have to like pull out the entire stem so you can pry these apart so you can pull the figure out. In her particular case, all these little doodads get hooked on it very easily. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So okay. I think this would cause more damage than this would. But anyway, let's let's carry on with the review. <laughs> a little pet peeve there, I guess. <laughs> so here we have the torso, and I will say I'm very happy they didn't go with a rubber body. Yeah. Because all these joints here may be visible, but with a rubber body, the rubber body will just eventually deteriorate. I don't know how things are gonna go because I've got a few figures with rubber bodies. The Venom, Alien, and Lady from Devil May Cry. I'm That's glad cool. that they didn't go with that with this one. Yeah. No, yeah. I bet you didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so this is only my second um, Hot Toys, and for the first one I've actually gone into this much detail with. But I said, like, the tattoos on the legs as well. Yeah, the tattoos look sick. Look They're really amazing. well done. They're not like a like a starch black that you would see. They have no. that, like, slightly blue tint that you would see on a normal person's tattoos, which is really cool. And then you can see she's done some modifications. Yeah, so like a sort of from the movie, as she's broken up with uh, Joker, she's like doing her own tattoo and trying to cross out Joker. And then like in one of them, uh, she ended up putting a G on the end and turning into pudding cups instead of pudding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, you can see the, the, the skin tone is quite cool too. You can see on her stomach there, as, as well as her legs. It's like a very um, pale, there's no, it's not like a sickly pale. Yeah. It's just like a really weird, unnatural pale because yeah. of the, the, 
the acid or whatever the, the hell they jumped into. Yeah, the chemical. Yeah, ice chemicals. Right. Yeah. And yeah, the, 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 the outfit looks really cool. So you got these suspenders that are actually suspenders that they do, whoopsie, they do actually like suspend uh, the stuff. They're very stretchy. Luckily, there's like this little prong right here that just plugs into the back there, just like that, so that you don't damage it from clipping it or pulling it too hard, which I'm very happy about because I just pulled it out and freaked <laughs> me out a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the paintwork on the, the jeans is quite nice. You've got like the rough ends of tips here and then um, the black stripes and stars and all yeah, that. and the red stars here on the yeah. side there. Even like these bits here, it looks like it's like actually frayed away, which looks sick. Yeah. Very, very nicely done. Nice. Uh, we had to put this like belt in. We were mentioned before we thought it was a collar. But that was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I had to use a toothpick. <laughs> yeah. That's a very nice, very well done. I mean, you can see some of the tattoos on here. That's what these guys are for. We'll slip these on here so that this little rubbery bit doesn't damage the actual tattoos, which is a very, very good idea. Or even like some of the black or red might rub off on the material, which is very, very well thought out. That's awesome. And these, these clips at the back here are real working clips, which is sick. Another pain in the ass that I had to deal with. Because <laughs> I was getting ready to take a top off to get the, the plastic out, out, out from underneath. So I undid them and then realized I didn't have to take a shirt off. And then I had to redo them. It was a pain in the ass. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, mosey on up. Yeah. All right, so here we have the torso. And obviously like that that weird pink, what would you call that? It's like aerobic. Yeah, a, a sports bra tooth thing, yeah, sports bra. Yeah. It looks like something out of a um, 80s a workout video. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks good, it looks cool. I like the little the clips like I mentioned before back here. And then the, like the tattoos and stuff look really good. But yeah, you can see, you can see there's another tattoo just under there mm -hmm. as well. Arm um, as well. Says. Yeah, that is the monster, yeah. I think. I can't move the shirt all that well, but I'm pretty sure it's the daddy's little monster tattoo. Yeah. And then you have like the J tattoo over there. But this is what I mean by like the skin texture. Yeah. It doesn't look like a sickly pale. It looks like a just unnatural pale. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. And then you can see the, the necklace there has all little bits and bobs all through. It looks so, so well done. It's messy, but organized mess, yeah. I guess. Although it's chaos. I mean, there's not too much to see. Yeah torso wise because she's only wearing two bits of clothing yeah there's a pants and a crop top but yeah we'll um move up to this head sculpt and tell you whether we like it or not yeah yeah all right so here's a head sculpt and it is pretty damn good uh anthony agrees with me where i say like there's just something off about it yeah and it it's definitely like either the smile or something like that right yeah the smile's quite sort of large for her face i mean like it's not bad it looks pretty good still. yeah it still looks great but yeah but it is putting the head sculpt just just that little bit off. Sometimes those, the head sculpts do do that. And I realize that a lot of open mouth head sculpts are like that too, where yeah. um, it's a smile or a scream or something like that. It's just a little bit off. Like what they did with Paul Rudd in Ant-Man. Yeah. He looked so strange. He was like a cross between Paul Rudd and, and um, Ben Affleck. It was yeah. so strange. But yeah, no, she, she still looks really good. And the lighting, like harsh lighting on her works really well. You can see her crooked bangs there, all the earrings in her ears look very, very well done. The like receding color in her hair looks, is well done painted. Yeah, um, the um, ponytails. Oh, that's around right. her. yeah, yeah. All these guys you can move to. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Move them up and down depending on what kind of action poses she's doing. You can have her hair swaying in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> but it is really cool. The the faded like pink and, and blue in her in her hair looks quite cool too. Tattoo looks good too. Yeah, no. Oh, like I said, like it's awesome detail. Um, this is like even just looking at the back of her head, just like that hair hair strands and stuff yeah. pulling up to the pigtail. I just I just love the the skin texture. I think the skin. Yeah. The skin colors really really done well love it and like the, the glossy eyes and the glossy teeth and lips look really good very well done besides the, the the i guess maybe the uncanny valley when it comes to her face sculpt it it's pretty good yeah it's pretty damn good very happy with it yeah all right let's show you guys some uh swap out clothes and then we'll do a little bit of poses if anthony wants to try them out yeah sure all right so this is what it looks like with the alternate kind of jacket and i hate it 
I hate it. <laughs> no, it looks it looks pretty cool. It's very different. I think it'll definitely be an eye catcher in the in the display for yeah. sure. But yeah, like the only issue I have with it is these little things are uh, they're accurate to the show. It just it's very painful to like move her around and stuff. Be very careful not to pull them or tug them. You know, yeah, when you're trying to like change your hands and stuff, you just don't want to pull out one of the tassels. <laughs> exactly. But it looks really cool. I love the the see-through jacket part. That's really cool because there's like real stitching on it and stuff like that. And the zip actually works. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that. But um, it changes her appearance completely. Yeah. Like before, she looked like she was doing a yoga class in the 60s or whatever. Uh, but now uh, she looks like she's ready to tassel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, it just changes her, 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 the way she looks completely. Yeah. What are you going to go with? You're going to go with this one? Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. Uh, no, I do like the tassel jacket though. Yeah. yeah, and the display will look nice. What are we going to display with? The bat or... All right, even the sandwich, like that's... The, the sandwich? Yeah, the iconic sandwich. Yeah. Like, yeah, if she had that jacket on while she had the sandwich too. <laughs> the only thing that I, I will have to say is because I don't know why, but she doesn't have double jointed elbows, right? So there's it's single joint, so you can only go 90 degrees. So you can't have the bat resting on her shoulder or anything like that, which kind of sucks. Regardless, it looks pretty good. The tassels really make it pop out, I'd say. Especially with that like pinky, shiny backdrop, it'll really stand out. Yeah. Let's get the next costume on. <laughs> there we go. All right, so yeah, the outfit. Yeah, and uh, we have a bit of an issue with this outfit. So you know that whole trick of heating it up with a hairdryer so things will fit together? Yeah, we tried that. Those boots will not come on. I tried. He yeah. tried, the hairdryer tried, and yeah, so at the moment, she is just like pegged us by, by that, and they, we just put the boots, her leaning into the boots, that was it. Yeah. So like they're separate right now, they're not pegged in, so she's like super tall, and it looks very unnatural. It doesn't look horrible, because, you know, it's Harley Quinn, she has weird proportions, but from a realism standpoint of the Birds of Prey figure, uh, it is a problem. You know, especially if you want to. Me personally, I like this outfit. Anthony likes that, the, the tassel outfit. So I don't have an issue with it because it's not mine and he would prefer having this outfit. So that's the other boots, you know, give and take. I personally would have an issue with this because I would have this outfit display. But in this situation, because it is Anthony's figure and him having the tassel jacket comes with the other boots. So it's not a train smash, but it is, uh, an issue nonetheless. So, other than that, this is the other costume. Yeah, it's awesome. And it changes her very, very, very much. It's basically what you see her wear going into the police station. In the yeah, movie as yeah. Well. Uh, there's only one thing missing though, it's this guy. <laughs> yeah. But um, I was quite surprised that Hot Toys didn't do a the big black robe and the yeah. red hat or scarf or something. What was yeah. it? Red? It's, it's like green. pink. Pink, yeah. yeah. And um, I'm surprised like no sunglasses or anything like that. You only see it for like a few seconds. Yeah. But um, I'm surprised it didn't have that in there. So it links like the rest of the outfit and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean like you get to well, technically three if you just have the, the crop top outfit. But at the same time, you know, more bang for your buck. Yeah. Come on, Hot Toys. <laughs> <laughs> so now that that's all done and dusted, I guess we'll just do some poses. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Alright, well, thank you very much for tuning into this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my guest Anthony here. Thank you for having and me. Thank you very much for actually bringing this chick in yeah. and having a man unboxing this thing. I That's appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. My pleasure. Uh, again, stay safe, everybody, and thank you guys. Have, have a good one, and stay safe. See you in the next video.